I've just seen the world premiere of Bank of Dave in Burnley, which is amazing in itself. And they've nailed it. They've got Burnley down to a T. They make it look cinematic. They've got the accent right. They've got the sense of humour right. Yeah, it's a pretty good job. And uh, Dave and the team should be really proud of it. Great. Welcome to Burnley. It's absolutely fantastic to have a film premiere here in Burnley. Is well, I don't think it's ever happened before. And it's all because of Dave Fishwick. It's a brilliant story. It's a proper feel-good film as well. And unlike a lot of films, it's actually filmed here in Burnley. And to have the film premiere here is just fantastic. Brilliant. Inspiring. Absolutely. Thank you. Brilliant. Well done. It's a credit to Burnley. Just that anything's possible. We've had a rough few years with COVID and everything that's going on in the economy. And it just gives you hope for the future. And there's so many funny moments. There's... I really enjoyed it. Really, 10 out of 10 from me. I loved it. Didn't want it to end. It was funny and it was also a bit of courage. The feel good factor is fantastic and I think everyone will be on cloud nine walking out of here. This is just a fantastic story. It is. And you just could feel it. You could feel the love in the cinema, quite frankly. It's and relaxing. and we've, all, we've all got a Hafner's pie, spinach and curry potato, and of course, Benny and Hot. I was tearing up a couple of times. It's it's fantastic for the town, fantastic for the community. I thought the cast and the were fantastic. And Dave's Dave's who he is, isn't he? Dave's Dave. <laughs> it's brilliant. I think it was uh, absolutely amazing to be fair. Great for Burnley um, and really good for Dave and everybody else as well. I, I describe it as uh, something that we've been trying to for years to to explain to people that there's a different way of running banking. Uh, we do it uh, in a small way in Burnley, uh, but it, if it can be replicated throughout the country, it would be fantastic. Oh, absolutely fantastic. When Dave first spoke to me about it, he says, Mick, I want to do it, but I want to make sure that Burnley looks great, just as it is, and that's just what he's delivered, so absolutely blown away with it. Yeah, absolutely, exactly the same, I think. Uh, not quite sure um, what way that it's shone uh, a really, really positive light on the town and the people of Burnley. It's absolutely fantastic and refreshing to see. And that's the Burnley that we recognise. Uh, it's really, really positive for Burnley and everybody from Burnley and everywhere should see this film. For me, I think it's just how helpful and positive people were in Burnley. And I remember when I first started working at Burnley, I remember coming from the interview 21 years ago. And I remember walking through the town and going in a few shops and that really positive friend attitude, it struck me then, and that was also shown in the film, so I, I think that was a lovely part of the film for me too. I watched it all with a smile on my face, that's what it's designed to do. I mean, that's what you have when you meet Dave anyway, but Rory Kinnear is Dave. I, I, it's uncanny, the two of them, it, really great on screen. You want to watch more of it, it's just, a, it's, just a, it's a great movie, I'll be watching it again. I'm Nikki and Dave's daughter. I'd just like to say how proud I am of him. It was a bit surreal seeing him on the TV like that. It was very overwhelming and exciting and I'm just so proud of him. I think he's such an inspiration to the town and the local people. So I'm still a bit taken back by it all. For the people of Burnley and for Burnley Football Club I thought it came out in a very positive light and of course highlights everything what David Fishwick does for the town and community. What do you really want this to achieve? If we can get in a, to a position where we can inspire as many people as possible to do whatever their dreams are. And whether you're going to open a financial institution or whether you want to get that new job or whether you want to take that move to start working for yourself, whatever it is, if a lad from Burnley who sells buses and has no qualifications can do it, then you can too. So whatever it is, take that step and let's make it happen.